Welcome to an insider special report here from Texas Tech Football Media Day, local media day. I'm joined by Texas Tech wide receivers coach Emmett Jones. Coach, where's your mind at heading into the fall camp? Oh man, uh, just excited to get with the guys I have in my position room right now. Uh, uh, you know, I'm expecting big things out of these guys and you know, just want to just, just, just do my best and be one of the best teachers I can be when it comes to presenting the, the, uh, our offensive scheme over to these guys and you know, and, uh, uh, just looking forward to these guys putting it all together as a group and just succeeding at a high level. I don't want to be too dramatic, but in my eyes, TJ Vasher is a, a huge key for this offense. Just if he can, you know, command a double team consistently, where is he at this offseason? Because we we show or he showed flashes of brilliance last year, but then you know some key drops, you know, and then in spring we saw some key, pretty much more of the same. Where has he been this offseason, and where is he at going into the, to the season? Uh, this offseason, he was just focused uh, pretty much on finishing strong in the classroom, yeah. getting better in the weight room, uh, getting faster, stronger. Then being a leader with the young guys we have in the room also too, but you know, his confidence is at a high level now. So he just kind of just been focusing on being consistent. You know, want to be the guy, want to be the next big time wide receiver that we have come through Texas Tech. So he's hungry, uh, ready to prove a lot of people wrong. Don't get really too much caught up in the media hype. Right. Uh, as part of playing a position, you know, just just like the, a good, just like Larry Bird. You know, if you <laughs> miss, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Right. I never worry about a drop as long as you don't get down at all, you know. Uh, I believe in that kid so much, man. It, it'll, it'll take me, it'll take the world to end for me to not to believe in that guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, after watching him last year, and I just saw some stuff in practice from him, man. Yeah. Uh, just unbelievable talent. Is the key with him just going to be consistency? Is that where? Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. And then with Seth Collins coming in as a grad transfer, um, he had some, you know, pretty exciting highlights. You look at it, you know, and, and all the the book on him has been just athleticism and dynamic playmaker. Kingsbury told me earlier in the summer that, you know, he could at least replace a lot of what, you know, Kiki uh, did last year. Do you see that? And what have you specifically seen from him? Uh, and I know you, you you deal with the outside receivers a lot, but, but what have you seen from Seth so far? Uh, just very, very, very passionate, true leader. Uh, guys just naturally flock to him uh, because of the way he approached uh, the game on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, everybody speaks high of him, everybody that's been working with him this past summer from academics, uh, sports nutrition, uh, uh, tra our trainers, strength conditioning also too, you know, but he takes every, he treats every play like it's the last play of the game. Mm -hmm. And honestly with Seth Collins, I haven't seen a receiver like Seth Collins since I've been here at Texas Tech. I mean, really? There's been a Jakeem, Jakeem Grant is Jakeem Grant, Kiki is Kiki. Seth Collins is Seth Collins, yeah. Dylan Cantrell is Dylan Cantrell. So uh, I think you guys are going to be very excited uh, with Seth. What's unique about Seth? Man, explosive. Okay. Explosive. Don't back down from any type of competition. Well, look it right there in the eye. Okay. You know, so uh, he's going to be great for our guys on the offensive side, especially these new guys who have, man, because just the way he's handling himself, man. He's done great for TJ also, too. I'm starting to notice, notice those guys are hanging around a little bit more often. Uh, and Seth is a very deep individual, but just about okay. life, you know. So we had a strong conversation yesterday, and I was very highly impressed with him, man, just where he's at right now in life. And uh, he's going to have a lot of success here at Texas Tech. And Antoine Wesley was having a really good spring for you. He had that hip injury. Kingsbury told me he's going to be healthy, go, you know, coming into camp. Um, what do you expect from him this year? Uh, he's going to put up big numbers. You know, he's going to make his presence known here in the Big 12. You know, he's looking to have a breakout year. Uh, it's been a good player for the last couple of years, but uh, just wasn't including as being one of the guys right now. Yeah. He, he is one of the guys right now. Kids are very crafty, understand the position, have a high IQ, his catch radius is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, he's putting on weight, uh, and he's, he's healthy, he's ready to go, so uh, it can get scary. It will be scary for guys the opposing defenses. And then finally, I know the freshmen haven't, you know, gone through as far as gotten hit here basically, but uh, what have you seen from some of these guys like Easy E and Keyshawn and uh, even in Myler, you know, since spring? Yep. All five of those guys bring a different type of skill set yeah. to the table. Uh, I'm excited that all five of them are on campus. Yeah. Even some of the other guys that we have around them, you know, uh, they just bring a totally different type of mindset, totally different type of swagger, totally different type of confidence that I haven't seen as a collection, as a group of incoming freshmen when it comes really? to wide receiver position since I've been here at Texas Tech, you know. So Eric explosive, Keyshawn explosive, Corey's very dynamic with the ball in his hand. Myler, very crafty. The uh, spring helped him out tremendously. Learned a lot from Wesley, TJ Vasher, Antoine, I mean uh Daquan Bowman. So that's a solid group, man. It's gonna do great things and love them.
I know Sterling got hurt, and he's got a red, probably red shirt. Uh, coach was telling me, but uh, the other four, you expect all four of them to play their first year, or uh, possibly, possibly. I'm, I, I won't say yeah, I won't say no, <laughs> but possibly. You know, right. due to the athleticism and so many ways they can help the program. You yeah. know, so uh, it'll be hard to keep them off the field. All right, Coach Emma Jones, thank you so much for your time. Really thank appreciate you very it. Much. All appreciate right. it.